Hi everyone, welcome to our videos about positioning and attachment for breastfeeding. My name's Katrina. My name's Abby and we're from La Leche League East Cambridgeshire. We are LLL leaders which means that we're breastfeeding counsellors and we're going to talk to you in this video about cross cradle position um, and also cradle position. Cross cradle might be something that you're already doing and it may well look like what Katrina is showing us there. Um, if this is comfortable for you, then brilliant. That's lovely. If it's uncomfortable, then one of the reasons could be just the position of baby coming straight forward onto your breast. So when baby is coming straight forward onto the breast, the breast is going to be right in front of their face. And what that is going to encourage baby to do is not latch on. It's to sort of root around and, and look and try and figure out not necessarily take a big wide gulp of breast. So we need to make some adjustment to encourage them to latch on to a lot of breast tissue. The way we do this is to pull baby down and round towards their own feet, pulling them in tight to your body as well. That's going to allow them to be looking up at the breast and do a big wide open mouth all the way over, taking in lots of breast tissue. The way that might look on your body then is this is potentially uncomfortable breastfeeding. We will pull baby down towards their own feet and round. You can see that Katrina has got a great C shape on the back of baby's neck, giving a little bit of head support on the side of the head and that the baby's the back of her baby's head is completely free from anything at all. And that's going to allow them to do the biggest wide open mouth that they are capable of. If they feel anything on the back of their head, then they have a newborn instinct to stop themselves suffocating, which they mean they push back. So if they can feel any pressure, it's not going to help them get closer. It's going to make them go further away. From there then, baby's going to be able to do the thing that we just saw with the woolly boob she's going to be looking up she's going to latch on <laughs> your baby's arm will probably stay in place a bit better than that <laughs> so here we can see we're still nose to nipple if that's something that you might have heard before we're still nose to nipple but most importantly we're chin to skin so there's breast tissue on the baby's chin encouraging her to open wide katrina is also quite just instinctively naturally doing some breast shaping there if that's something that you want to find out more about, then you can check out our breast shaping videos as well. It could be helpful. Baby's bottom is going to be held in really tightly with my elbow. That probably depends how long your baby is and how long your arm is. Um, but that helps me to remember how close and tight they need to feel to feel really secure enough to latch on. So chin to skin and pull them in. <laughs> that's an easy way to remember it. Thank you. This might leave you with a bit of an uncomfortable wrist. So we can swap over at that point and have baby resting on any part of that arm. And now if you want to get really comfy, it's the time to bring some pillows in. Those pillows are going to be all for you, mum. Yes, we're getting pillows behind the back so you can get comfy and lounge. You're also going to potentially think about putting pillows underneath your arm to build up some support so your arm doesn't get tired, your neck doesn't get tired. That has really helped. Now I feel like I could actually stay in this position longer. To find more information, you can go to llleastcams.org.uk.